general guidance reading for the month of September 2016. And this is for all of those who are born sorry, under the sign of Taurus. So if you were born with your sun, moon, or rising sign in Taurus, this is for you. Um, this is going to be um, a spread based upon the planetary alignments effects or planetary energies um, effects on Tauruses, all Tauruses, born, sun, moon, or rising for the month of September. So after this spread, I will be doing a um, five card spread for the area of love, partnerships, and romance. So let's go ahead and get into the general spread. So for the first position, it's explaining where we are, um, Tauruses, where we are at this month. And where we're at this month is we have the death card, which is a beautiful card because it represents endings and beginnings, a death and a rebirth. So there's a lot of transformation. I feel like this is a creative energy as well. Um, the Aries also had the same card at the bottom of the deck, which was the Empress card. So what I'm feeling for Tauruses as well is there's a lot of, you know, things being birthed. There's a new beginning happening. There's things that are blossoming for you. And you may have came out of a dark period in September or August. I'm sorry. You came out of a dark period. You had to deal with some shadow aspects of yourself. But this month, however, you're coming up out of those dark shadows. And there's a new beginning happening. There's a birth of something that is being created. And you're being transformed as a person. Your life is also transforming in the midst of that. Um, and it's like wherever you feel all was lost is really not lost and that there is a new beginning in whatever situation that you're inquiring about or all areas of your life really are being transformed. Okay, so the second position was the temperous and this is potential and challenges this month. So the potential is that you know, there's a balance happening, which is also transforming that you're finding that balance within the heart and the mind, that you're getting clear on the things that you want to where your mind is like, okay, um, I will follow suit or I'm flowing with that as well. So it's like spirit um, had to bring you to a certain point where you needed to get clear in the mind and also match the heart, what the heart is saying and, and be on that same accord in order to move forward. And that is also a challenge because I feel like for some of you, you know, you had some situations where you couldn't meet, you know, your mind was telling you something, but your heart wanted something or was telling you another. And it was very hard for you to decipher what was truth and what was your ego. So that is a little bit of a challenge still for you, but you do have that potential that this is what's happening. This is the transformation that is also occurring for you. Okay, in the third position, what is it that we need to focus upon this month? We have the Page of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is speaking, you know, directly being very honest. I feel like it's... You need to adopt this energy of, you know, being mindful of what you're communicating with others, mean what you say and say what you mean type of energy, being completely truthful and honest, no matter how fearful that is or how scary that is for you. You must honor your truth, but also be mindful of the things that you're saying, not to offend people or, you know, just be very careful and to be open and honest, that honesty is rewarded, honesty is honored. So that is what you should focus upon this month, is being open and honest and speaking up for yourself, being truthful and honest. For some of you, you may be hesitant to do this. Not all Tauruses are outspoken. So um, you need to adopt this type of energy this month. And also for some of you, if you're too outspoken, you need to be careful with your tongue and your words. Okay, so for the fourth position represents your past, where you're coming from. And we have the Ace of Wands. So in the past, you did do a lot of spiritual work, I feel like. You were doing a lot of energetic work. 
So some of it you may not see on the physical realms, but, you know, or you may not see why a lot of things that you had to endure this month, how the effects were spiritually on an energetic, energetic level. You don't see how they're relevant, but you were given some type of, you know, energy to work with and move forward and make things happen with this energy, create something with this type of energy. And you may have to, may had, may have had to endure a lot of difficult things last month or in the past, you know, in the past five months, six months, but it's all for your benefit. It was like, it was helping you in a situation that you're currently in this month. And it's like, you're going to see the evidence of that, but it's still like energetic work or happenings, if that makes sense. Okay, the fifth position represents your strengths this month. And we have the Knight of Cups. So your strength this month is that you are open-hearted. It's like you're, it's easy for you to express how you feel this month. Or more so not expressing with words, but with your actions and your, you know, your loving gestures. You're very loving this month. You're very in tuned emotionally with how you feel. And it's easy for others to feel where you're coming from because of your affections or, you know, just you're helpful. If you're in a workplace, I'm getting that you're ex extra helpful this month with people. Like you're helping, you know, you're teaching people things and, you know, you're, but you don't realize it, but other people see the difference and the change. So it's like, they're telling you that is your strength this month. That is that is a good energy to work with this month is keeping that loving energy because it may not be here for long. It may be something that just shifts because you're more of a stable type of energy. You're more practical with your, um, you know, with your expressions and how you work out, you know, in the world. But it's like you have this more soft, loving energy with others and you're maybe even more touchy feel you may be you know giving hugs giving kisses to family and friends or your lover whatever it is this is your strength this month this is working for you this month okay so in the sixth position it represents your near future so the near future you have the will of fortune and yeah the aries had this in the same position so this Energy is that spirit is gifting you as well. You're being gifted with some fortunate events. Like there's things turning in your favor. And it's right next to the death card. So again, in the temperance. So there's a balancing of karma. And there's something being paid to you. And there's a rebirth. There's something that something new is being gifted to you. Something very fortunate. Something that's in your favor is coming to you. It's, it's something happening and these major, because these major arcanas are right directly next to it, I feel like that it's a strong energy, that it's like something that is very promised that's coming to you in the near future. If not this month, next month and so forth. And then you have the Ace of Wands in that same line. So it's like the energetic work is helping to bring this fortunate event to you or fortunes, many different fortunes. I don't think it's just one area of life. I think it's many different areas that you're receiving these fortunes and it could be money and payouts and home life. Um, <laughs> it's funny, but it's kind of, um, I don't know if my friend's watching, but she was, you know, talking about a car that she's always won. And I feel like that, this is like a will, a car. So some of you may be getting a new car. That came up as well. So the seventh position represents the, the suggested approach this month. And again, it's a cups energy, the ace of cups. So your strength was the knight of cups. And the suggested approach is to keep that loving energy going. And also not only give it, but be receptive to it. Get that love back as well and be open to the gifts that divine is giving you because it's sending you loving energy. You're, you're giving it, but you're also meant to receive it. So be open and receptive to love this month. There's a lot of loving energy 
within you and around you. What it is that you need to know in the eighth position is the high priestess is that your your intuition is spot on. Um, you need to trust and honor your intuition. And you just need to speak up about the things that you already know. It's like you know something deep within yourself. You just need to speak on that because it's going to be fortunate for you. And again, it's in line with the Ace of Wands. So you're doing something energetically when you speak your truth, when you're honoring your truth and what you know. You're also balancing the heart and the mind. I feel like, you know, because the High Priestess is number two, it represents um, two different aspects, you know, the light and the dark, the moon and the, and the sun. So the mind and the heart. So it's like you're finding balance. And once you do find that balance, that temperance is balancing out that energy, you're able to trust your intuition more this month. And it's going to be fortunate for you to honor what you know, speak on what you know. It's going to be helpful for others in some way. Um, we need to do that. Continue to do that. Okay, and the ninth position represents the hopes and fears for Taurus this month. And we have the Three of Cups. So the hopes and fears, I feel like you're hopeful that, you know, some sort of gathering, re reun reuniting. <sighs> um, yeah, it's like intuitively, you know that you're going to reunite with some friends with family, with a lover. Cups can represent love, um, some type of family gathering because it's right underneath or above the high priestess. The ace of cups is offering you something in the areas of love or being open and receptive to love and to give it. Then we have the king of wands up top. So it could be that you're reuniting with someone under a fire sign. That you're coming close to a a fire sign male or woman for some of you you know that they also could have sun moon arising in the sign of um aries sagittarius or leo or have that fiery energy but that's just for some but what i'm feeling like with this is that your fear is that that's not gonna happen more so than you feel it's true you feel more so that it's not going to happen and you're having doubts even though your intuition is telling you, you know, also the moon, again, intuition. So even though your intuition is telling you that this is happening and you're feeling it on a deep level, on an emotional level, you're feeling that it's coming. You've done the work. You've trusted your intuition. She's wearing purple. So it's intuitive guidance. Blue, her throat chakra. So she spoke her truth. This reddish orange is color action oriented so she's grounded you've done all of that and that's like the creation three is creative energy working with spirit your higher self your physical self to bring something to fruition and it's here but you are kind of doubting it or you already know that it's here and you're just waiting for it to happen you're waiting for the will to turn um also, it is a cup of love that you are giving out that loving energy to someone, these people, and that you fear maybe that you're not receiving it back for some. So the potential near future is the King of Wands. And this is, for me, this is the return of that person. For a small majority of you, the potential future is that, um, you know, your power you're you're tuning into your power. I feel like you already are in your power. So a lot of you, I'm just going to say that I feel like this is the person that you're wanting to reunite with or coming back into contact with, get closer to, whatever it is, this fire sign person, um, a Leo too. It could be a Leo male or that you were waiting in August for this person to come. You're getting a little bit hesitant because you thought it was going to happen and it didn't happen. Mm -hmm quite just yet but it is but it is and a lot of you are going to have to take charge of a situation if this is out of the scope of love or whatever it is I feel like you're going to have to take charge in a workplace or in a life situation um, 
and it may be a little bit hard for you to do that because this is out of your element if you are a sun Taurus if you're a moon or rising it may not be that difficult to tune into this type of energy but you may have to take charge of a situation and you may not totally feel comfortable with doing that all right so that was the first portion of the reading so I will go ahead and come back with the love reading Hello, this is the love portion of the reading for Taurus, September 2016. So this is a five card spread. I will be using the Wisdom of Oracle deck. The first position represents the situation in the areas of love for single and partner Tauruses. We have here and now 32. So the situation is to focus only upon where you are thus far. Still at the same time, taking into consideration of the past and applying it to where you are now. Where am I right now because of my past? How did the, fa the past affect me and who I am at this very moment? And how can I move forward into the future? So it's like you're at this, you're at a very um, important, pivotal moment right now where you're, there's opportunities opening up for you for clarity and for this new beginning to get clear on what it is that you want moving forward. Not continuing to keep yourself in a limbo or stuck. It's really getting clear on what it is that you want and what you're wanting to create in a relationship and how you want to apply it and move forward so that you can bring upon this change, this divine change that's here for you because there is a birthing of something, a beginning of something that's coming to you, but you're needing to get clear right now. Okay, so position two, it represents your challenge. The challenge this month is 37 never ending story. And I feel like the challenge for you is to not revert back into that feeling as if Things are never going to happen. This is just a, a repeat cycle again. I'm going to have to keep going through this over and over again. I'm never going to get what I want. I'm never going to meet that person that, you know, that I desire. I'm never going to be with the person I desire. Or this relationship is just never going to work with this person. We just can't get it right. Not to revert back to that. That is the challenge that this that this month is. And... The reason why it's happening for most is because you need to get clear on what it is that you want right now and move forward and not get stuck in the past so much, but see how the past has helped you to bring you where you are and learn from the past so that you can move forward finally. So it's like spirit is is behind this never ending story energy so that you can get clear on what it is that you're wanting out of love and relationships, out of a partnership so that you can just put an end to this type of energy that you don't have to keep going through this cycle again because it's like you're telling yourself that this is just going to keep happening. This is never going to end. And also you need to be careful of saying that, that, you know, I'm just waiting. I'm just, I just sit here and I wait because there's no time in this. As you see this ball, there's no, you know, no timing that you have the key to unlock time that it's really up to you and spirit wants you to get out of this energy and finally just put it into it put a stop to this type of thinking and energy once and for all that is the challenge okay for the guidance this month in love we have 38 to be fair okay so the guidance is that you need to honor your truth you need to honor your intuition and to honor what it is that you believe in and what you're creating. You need to honor your spiritual path because a lot of you, you're dealing with a spiritual connection. So you need to honor that and what you already know about it. And it's that balancing energy again for you. You need to get clear in the mind and in the heart so that they both meet. And also that you need to leave the past behind where it is. Because it's a pretty sure that it's helped you to get where you are now. And it's, you know, being honoring to yourself and to the other party. That being fair in relationship, understanding everybody's point of view. And understanding where the other person may be coming from. 
or if you're single and there's no one in your spirit, it's like you need to, you know, you know, bend a little bit, not be, you know, too specific of how things should work out, but know that things are going to work out and stick to believing that there is someone out there for you. And don't, you know, don't walk away from that belief. Believe that there is someone out there for you and that it is going to work out. So it's like just coming into awareness that things are going to work out for you and that things need to become balanced. You know, your beliefs and your heart need to match so that you can move forward. All right. So the fourth position represents your focus, where you should be focused this month on love. And we have five orphaned. So the focus should be that... This is the energy I need to get out of. I don't want to go back to this energy. Feeling abandonment. Feeling sorry for myself. Pessimistic. Depressed. Feeling as if I'm alone and I'm never going to have that certain someone. Or I'm never going to be with anyone. Or that this relationship, I'm just in it all by myself. And it's kind of like you need to tell yourself that I desire to be happy more than anything else. Whether it be with someone or not. And if you're in a partnership where you're not getting those needs met and this person refuses to work with you, even though you've tried working with them, that you need to just walk away. But many majority, I feel like it's just you need to get out of that belief that you're alone and that there's no one there for you, whether it be with a partner or your family or your friends that you need to get out of that belief because it could be that you're isolating yourself from the outside world and others that love you. And five is about changes. It's about a shift, an energy, a, a major shift, a divine intervention shift. So it's like you need to shift out of this right away. It's kind of the same as this never-ending story that things are never going to work out for you. You need to get out of that. So your focus should be on getting out of this energy and not going back to it. Okay, when it comes to the outcome for this month, we have to imagine. So the outcome is being clear, that you're clear on what you want. And it could even be more manifesting about what you want when it comes to a partnership. Because we have number 20, but really number two, so it's a partnership. Um, you know, balance again, that balancing energy. So becoming balanced in the mind and in the heart. And telling yourself that you believe in what you want what you've been dreaming about, imagining, that you're clear on that. You know what you want. So you will get clear this month. Um, you will find that balance between the mind and what the heart says. So that is your reading. I hope that this was helpful and that it has resonated with you all. And I send you lots of love. Bye-bye.